everybody doing here? Uh, Corey here from Mixing It Up Outdoors off the YouTube channel. Um, this is my son Austin. Uh, we don't get to fish much together just because uh, he's so busy with his sports and work and all that stuff. You know, he's coming up to his senior year in high school this year. And uh, so hopefully after this year, you know, we'll get out on the water more with each other. Hopefully that wind's not blowing the mic. But uh, so we got out fishing today out on Bago. Today is what? June 28th? 28th June yeah. 28th. Um, we kept it pretty simple. We went out for eaters. And um, all we did was we trolled um, the contour lines out in front of Menominee, out in front of the islands. We stayed in that seven, eight foot range most of the morning. Uh, we got out there at nine, I think. I think we were out at nine and off by noon. And uh, we kept nine. Those of you who have ever watched a couple of videos, uh, very seldom do I come home with a limit. If I'm by myself, I usually bring home four, and if I'm with somebody else, I usually bring home nine. Um, sometimes we keep ten, but usually we don't. So anyway, um, flipping through some Facebook stuff the other day, and a friend of mine, Troy Peterson, had a picture on there of some bluegill that he had done on the grill. So I thought it was looked great, so I did some walleye. And, a lot of people commented on it, so I figured, what the hell, we'll throw together a quick video of how we do it. So, uh, we had a good time today. You had a good time, I know. Yeah. So, he was a little pissed off at me because I wouldn't let him jump off the motor. He wanted to show off to all the cute girls out there, I think. But, uh, so yeah, we're gonna, I got them uh, all flayed up already, but uh, got a few that I gotta take off the skin yet, and then I'll show you what I do to get them ready for the grill, and then we'll throw them on there, and show you what we do all right all right here we have some of the walleyes here that need to come off the get the skin off them here um, as you can see some really nice flays we did have a couple smaller fish but um, most were in that 17 18 range um, so I just wanted to show you real quick real real quick on what I do here okay first off uh, you know everybody knows we've got to flay a walleye so we'll throw it down here and all I do I take it off the skin just like I'm sure the rest of you guys do. So, uh oh, see, turn the camera on, I'll mess it up, of course. All right, so I went like that, missed a little bit of meat there, not a big deal. All right, so I got my flay. What I do next is I turn my flay over, and as you can see, there's this little mud line right here. I make two cuts, I make one on each side of that. And I actually do this for frying fish or uh, for frying walleye or I'm um, doing it on the grill. Just because uh, you get that, you know, these little bit larger fish, you get that pin bone line in there. And this way they're going to come out. All right, so I got that. Made my two cuts. Simply grab one side of it. I pull. There's the bottom portion of the flay. And I pull. Here's the mud line out. There's your top portion of your filet. If I fry that up, I usually cube it like that. I make smaller walleye chunks. That's just how I like to do it. I'm going to throw that in here. So we some ice water there. Alright, I'm going to uh, finish these off real quick here and then uh, we will move to the grill and go from there. One thing I want to just remind you guys of when you do this, it's a lot easier if you start from the tail section. You can see there how Austin's doing that. He's cutting, flips the fish over so you can see the mud line good and uh, makes his two cuts on the tail and peels it down. Um, it does peel a lot better that way. He just pulls them out, throws them in there. Show on one more there, bud. Two cuts, one on each side. One, two. Simply peel one, one side. Nice big old back strap. And then you get that little smaller section of meat. All right, guys, uh, we're back in the house here real quick. And I just want to show you, like I said, this is super simple. Literally, some run wrap, some onions. I use uh, the sweet mini peppers. I just like them. You don't have to have them if you don't want them. A little bit of Lowry salt, um, some lemon pepper, and some basil leaves. And I use a whole stick of butter. All right, so I'm going to push these right here. I apologize if behind me is a mess, but... We're not here to impress.
we got this going now. Um, hopefully you can see me on that camera. I know Austin's holding it like a tartle. But uh, I had him cut up some uh, onions and some mini sweet peppers. And all we're going to do is we're going to take some walry salt first. Austin, you can get a shot of the walleyes here. And I put a pretty healthy dosing of Lowry's on them. I'm not scared of it. It's all going to cook, cook in. And then I get the uh, lemon pepper. And I come over it with the lemon pepper. Once again, not really scared to use it. That's what it's there for. And then I like, I'm a big basil fan, so I like to throw some basil on there also. I don't know if this adds anything to it or not. I just like basil, so I do it. All right, then we're going to take some of these peppers and onions. And we're just going to throw them all over the top here. I think we probably cut up enough, that's for sure. Looks like we're going to have onions and walleyes, not walleyes and onions, that's for sure. All right, so we lay that over the top, and I, like I said, you can put as much seasoning as you want on them. I actually think I might put a little bit more on there, just because. Just a little bit more. All right, so we got that going on. All right, and then what I did here was I just took a, a full stick of butter, chunked it up, and I take these and I lay them all over the top. And what that's going to do is that will melt down and cook you up. One thing I did forget to do on these is I sometimes I do slightly oil uh, the, the tin foil with olive oil and I dint on these. Hopefully that's not going to make a big difference here. I'll grab a little bit. Try to dump it, just dump it, just uh, just a little bit, you know, just something to keep, I don't know if this is even going to do anything. Darn it, hope I didn't mess them up. Just a little bit, you know, that should, that should spread around, we'll see. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Alright, so we got that. Now for the tricky part. Get this all to work. Got my little, your little tin foil pan you made up here. And if you don't know how to make a tin foil pan, well, I don't know what to tell you. All right, so we got that. Just gonna take this here, slide it off onto there, like so. Alright, and we will be ready for the grill. We're going to go out, spread the charcoal around. We did, we lit that before we started working on this. And uh, we're going to go spread that around and then... Uh... Okay guys, back outside by the grill here. And uh, all I did simply was take the, take the charcoal and um, just kind of spread it around down to the bottom. You don't need a lot because, you know, fish cooks quick. So I got that going here. Take my... Move that over to there. Throw it on the top. Let her heat up and heat up just a little bit there. Got the and grill going that. here. We're up to 350. So as soon as he gets off his cell phone and brings out that fish, we'll be ready to rock. Looking pretty mighty good. All right, we're gonna throw this open here. She's heating up quick. She went right to. I wonder if I should spread that around. We should be all right. Hey, you take this, buddy. You know, you think your hands are in front of the lens there. Okay. All right, so I, uh, I simply just take it like this and try to slide it off here the best you can without burning your hand. Whew. That up a little bit better. 
All right, we're going to close this up. We're going to close this up here, and uh, we'll check back on it in like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes maybe, and uh, see where we're at. All right, guys, it's been about, uh, I don't know, probably about seven or eight minutes. We're at 450. Starting to look pretty good there. Butter's all melted down. Fish is starting to flake. Whew. Ouch. Let that butter soak in real good. She's coming along. Give her a few more minutes yet. Open that up. She is looking good. There's just one more quick add-on gonna go on to this. We're gonna throw some Sargento mozzarella cheese on the top. A little bit, he says, huh? Just a little bit. And I didn't put cheese the last time I did this like this. I did not put cheese on it, but I figured what the hell. Change it up just a wee bit and see if it adds to it. So that's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to close this up here, and that'll take probably two seconds to melt. All right, we're going to give her hell. See if we can get it without spilling all of our butter all over the place and starting on fire. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I haven't figured it out yet. This ain't happening. So you go from the head then. Look at that. Where's the better way? Ha! <laughs> All right. So we got our pan here. Put that in the sun. Look at it. Get a shot of that. Huh? Hoo -hoo. Guys, this is... This is, uh... What? Hour and a half? Hour and a half since we've been off the water here. This is uh this is fresh. This is gonna be good. Alright guys, here's our finished product. That is Lake Winnebago walleye with some sweet peppers, some onions, some cheese, some seasoning. Come on. What? Hit it. It's probably hotter than hell. Huh? That was good. Yeah? That was good. Kicks ass, huh? Put it simply. Try those peppers with it too. We got the taste tester here. He's getting himself ready to go out to that country USA fest. That's good. That's good, huh? <laughs> Figured it would turn out awesome. All right, guys. So uh, we did um, try to film today. I don't know, even know how much I got on film. It was it was windy out there. It was pounding, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, so I'm not sure how much we had on film. I had three fish in the boat. I had two. Uh, I put my first board out. I was running the second one out. As I was running the line out, I hit one. And uh, before I could get three lines in the water, I had three fish in the boat. And... Uh, and we never even ran six lines today no. um, with the waves and stuff. And it was tossing the boat around a little bit the way the wind direction was coming and the way we were trolling. So we ended up trolling four. We had five in for a little while, but not very long. But uh, I'll try to throw a couple clips in of that. But uh, I don't, like I said, I'm not even sure if we even film because, like I said, me and him don't get out very much. So the last thing that kind of was on my mind, you know, I mean, at first it sounded like a good idea. I told him, like, let's go out and make a movie. And, uh, you can't stop, can you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I said, you know, let's go out and make a movie and, and, and have a good time. And then you get out there, you know, and it's, it's just, there's, there's more important things, I guess, than, than turning on a camera. So, um, so I'm going to let you guys go here because I'm hungry. So, uh, man, this looks good. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a good one. Um, I, like I said, you know what, if you got any questions about it, go ahead and ask, but it's really, 
it's simple. You know, I showed you everything I do, um, and it, it, it's awesome. So uh, I'm going to throw some on a plate here and go mouth. Give you one last shot here at mouth watering. That looked good.